shouts out to the summertime that means it's getting hot outside that means we got naked pool parties and nude beaches and the one thing that you don't want is to have seaweed all over your man parts that means you got to use the best tool the number one in male grooming manscaped <laughs> Around these parts, we use the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a top tier electric trimmer. It's the fourth version of it because Manscaped is always looking to make improvements. It features replaceable skin safe blades that help cut down on grooming accidents. It's rechargeable, so there's not a need to always buy new batteries. It's waterproof and it has a built in LED light for those hard to see places. Manscaped has this new performance package 4.0, which comes with the trimmer, the weed whacker to get rid of all those pesky nose and ear hairs, ball toner, ball deodorant, and if you order now, you get a free pair of Manscaped boxers, which I've already graduated to my lucky draws. I'm wearing them now and you get a cool little travel bag to hold all your goodies in. So Vice says this, we wanna save you a little bit of money. I want you to go to manscaped.com. First of all, buy everything, especially the Performance Package 4.0 and use promo code Vach, V-O-C-H, Vach. So you get 20% off and free shipping. All right, manscaped.com, promo code Vach. I appreciate y'all. Let's get into some film. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? We got some uh, got some notes today. Got some work. Got some studying for y'all. Um, I like to break down sacks every year. I did this the last two years. Uh, ever since we were leading the league and say, or like second in sacks that, that year one time, um, what I like to do is go back and watch all of them and see whose fault it was. And this was a very very interesting year. Uh, that one year we had like 48 sacks and we were second behind the Texans. Um, it was like eight offensive linemen that was responsible for 48 sacks. Uh, uh, then the next year we only gave up 23 sacks so we got better um and a lot of that came from you know Dak getting rid of the ball quicker you know just the o-line being a little more uh synergistic i would say is that even a word it don't matter it's one now um so i went back and i watched all the film from last year and i recorded 42 sacks okay 42 sacks last year um and four quarterbacks got sacked last year we're talking about Dak, andy ben and garrett um and i'm gonna break this video down into three parts because int interestingly enough right the 42 sacks tackles gave up 14 of them interior offensive line gave up 14 of them then i got ebe right here uh that's everybody else uh they also gave up 14 sacks so i'm gonna probably make this three videos and we're gonna break it down and we're gonna hurt and we need to see what hurt looks like and what it feels like so when we're triumphant next year uh we can know how much better we got all right so with that being said, um, today we're going to be looking at the tackles, okay? We're going to look at the, the outside guys. So that'll be Terrence Steele, Brandon Knight, and Cam Fleming. This is only research purposes. If you want some 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 highlight tapes, if you want some good analysis, boy, this ain't for us. <laughs> and look, when I say good analysis, I mean like positive analysis. You know what I mean? This ain't, this ain't what you're looking for. Um, we're looking at problems that we can fix for next year. Uh, so Terrence Steele, two, four, six eight terrence Steele gave up nine sacks it made me sick to go back and look at it. we're gonna look at those right now uh brandon knight one two three four he gave up four sacks and cam fleming or cam irving whichever swing cam is what we're gonna call him swing cam gave up one sack now this is sacks this ain't pressures this ain't hurries this ain't times i got whooped so these guys got whooped way more than this but this is only for the official sack record so we're gonna start it start at uh at this time stamp here terrence Steele is our right tackle let's just watch him get whooped a couple times man boy 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 what i got uh from watching terrence Steele just a lot of his reps is he didn't trust his power and to be fair he wasn't very powerful so i would see why he um why he wouldn't trust it but he was always in situations where um he was lunging and he was getting off balance because he was trying to make up for that lack of strength uh and he would just try to you know lean and hit people a little harder that didn't work neither don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying that terrence Steele found some kind of solution with bad technique technique because some tackles do that they'll sacrifice technique and making it look good just to kind of make it work uh terrence didn't really find a solution man uh what happened here versus the niners terrence still is your right tackle 78 let's see what happened to him let's see what happened to him 
Okay, so sure. Uh, so the gap exchange is what happened here. And if Terrence Steele was a little closer, I'm up and putting my hands up like y'all can see my hands. Where's my mouse? Y'all see my mouse? You can. If Terrence Steele was a little closer to uh, Conor McGovern's right hip, he would have been able to deal with this um, deal with this gap exchange a little better. Uh, Conor McGovern did well passing him on. You see that that right arm right there passing this guy along and coming off on his dude. Just that Terrence Steele was in bad position here in the first place. If he was a little more hip to hip with Conor McGovern, this, this would have been better for him. And the big piece of losing power right now i want you to look at terrence Steele's left leg right now see what he does with his left leg terrence Steele's left leg it goes backwards he drops his post foot which is his inside leg that's our our power leg we travel with the right foot or our right leg boom 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 uh but we want to be powerful with that post foot and if terrence still is going to drop his post foot then whoever's running into him is going to run straight through it every single time so that's bad business for the boy Terrence Steele. We got another timestamp. Let's keep on moving. We might not even we might not even edit this. We just probably gonna run straight through this. We're gonna, we, we just gonna run straight through this. Terrence Steele. Third sack. Let's see how he did it. <laughs> Let's see how he gave this up. Uh ran straight through him. All right. <laughs> just pretty that hey. Hey man, sometimes it's nothing technical. Sometimes it's not um something you can do different. Sometimes you just get ran through. Him standing straight up is, isn't very helpful. Him having no bend in his knees ain't ain't, you know, that ain't letting nobody uh that ain't doing anybody favors or whatnot. So boy Terrence Steele, and this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Terrence Steele leads the Cowboys in sacks, by the way. That's just part of my um part of my notes here. Uh somebody be like, but Vaunch, why would you want to put all this negativity into the streets? Well, man, sometimes we need to be educated on things like this, man. Sometimes we need to see uh who the actual culprits were. And I think Terrence Steele would be a little better this year. I think he's actually gonna make some improvements. Um, because he has to. He's 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 been in that offseason, he's gotten bigger and stronger, I hope. And it's just, you know, if you're just in a system long enough, you're gonna be better. Um but this was very Chaz Green, like, but whatever. Terrence still at the right tackle position. Let's uh, let's uh, take a look at him, see what he did here. Take a look at him, see what he did here. A little early with his hands there. Um, boom, 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 boom. And what do I mean by early with his hands? Sometimes you want to keep them in your holster, right? Keep your hands ready to shoot until you get a perfect opportunity to shoot. It's kind of like punching, right? If what this this translated into punching is Terrence Steele fully extended his punch and then he took the punch and put it on somebody's face, right? Instead of getting in proper distance and striking, Terrence fully extended and then placed his weapon on the um, on the opposition here. Take a look at what he did. His arm's gonna get fully extended early, like right there. Like that's not powerful. That's not powerful. There's no bend in his elbows right now. So there's really no power in that strike. They're fully extended. So that gave Montez, <laughs> Montez the ability to just run through him, man. I don't know what y'all want. But look, this is why I think Terrence Steele was bad last year, right? Because let me, let me just run this play. Terrence Steele went to Texas Tech, right? One, two. The ball will be gone at Texas Tech right now. At this point, let me take a look at Dalton. Dog so terrible. One, two. The ball will be gone at Texas Tech right now. But this ain't college football, you know what I mean? This is big boy league football. You might have to hold a, hold a hold a block or maintain a block for four or five seconds or so in the National Football League. So um, that's just one thing that we're looking for. So if anybody's watching this and they're a scout and they like to join me during draft season and all that, that's something that we're looking for. Uh, can you maintain a block? And if you if you go to a, a college that don't maintain blocks, then. <clears throat> It's looking bad for you, man. Let's see what Terrence Steele did here. Same problem. Same problem with Terrence Steele here. Terrence Steele getting that extension there. Boom, boom, boom. Now, now look, if you look at his feet, they aren't terrible. Like, Terrence travels pretty well. Like, he's pretty athletic here. But there, there, there he goes again. Putting that punch out and not hitting nobody. Then placing the hand on your face. You're not very powerful right there. We're going to take advantage of it again. This time, Terrence Steele jumped on the phone because he wanted to be involved in the stat sheet. I ain't mad at your player. <laughs> I ain't mad at your player. Let's see what else you got. Boy, the Washington game was terrible for old Terrence here. 20-minute uh, mark. Let's take a look at Terrence on the right side of your screen here. Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes they're just going to walk you backwards, man. Sometimes they're going to walk you back. And this will never happen to Leo Collins. 
uh, like this may happen to Leo Collins like what like once a year or something like that but just back to back to back like that not gonna be able to do it um great technique by the uh by the end here he's going to defeat Terrence's inside hand and he's gonna lock up that outside hand which is his right hand and once you have control of that hand you know you can lift you can move it you could do whatever to it um because hey man Terrence is not gonna be powerful right there um Terrence is standing straight up again the DN got got uh got some good leverage that pixel out my bat the uh, DN got got pretty good leverage on him nothing you could do there walked him all the way back to brother Ben that's a damn shame. Terrence gonna be better though. He ain't got no choice. <laughs> he ain't got no choice, man. There's no way Terrence is gonna be the same guy that he was last year. I hope he doesn't get the opportunity to prove it to me. I hope he just kind of does well in preseason or whatnot, and we ain't gotta worry about it in regular season, but oh boy, brother Terrence. Let's take a look at you versus the Browns. This was definitely bad. I, I know the Browns put a put a damn 30 piece on your ass, boy. Whew. Mm. Now Let's let's just let's just be honest with this too. What's my timestamp? I didn't got lost. Um, Terrence should never be trying to block Miles Garrett by itself. That's that's not. I don't know what part of the game that is. Um, Zeke tried to get a little chip going here. Let's see what happened here. What 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 was Zeke doing with the chip here? Did he hit him? Did he chip him? It looked like he kind of chipped, him, or he was about to chip him, but um, Miles just ended up with the uh, with the outside spin anyway, and Terrence just. Man, did you even pinch him? Did you even pinch him, Terrence? Come on, man. Mm, mm, mm. That's on Brother Terrence, though, man. That's on Brother Terrence. We ain't got to scroll far because it was another sack <laughs> in, the, in the Browns game that they got Terrence on. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Right tackle. Yeah, got old Dak out of there. And that's one of our turnovers. That's one of our turnovers, and that helped us not put points up on the board in the – what's the time? What's the time? What was that? Let's see. Let's see what what, uh, what time this was. So that's the second quarter, first and 10. It's 14-14, close game at this point. So we probably would have got a lead on the Browns early in the game. Uh, down the distance, we're on this side of the star. So, hey, man, this probably could have been a good drive, man. But <laughs> old Terrence. Oh boy, get him up out of there. Get him up out of there. Hey man, this hurts me. This hurts me to even watch it, but uh we gotta know what we bad at in order to uh to improve on it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta break down the ship to float it, you know? 2653. Last one for Terrence still. Let's see what happened to him versus the Falcons. Oh, this was this was all ball get off right here. This was ball get off. Terrence still get your ass off the football, boy. Mm. Mm, Zeke was in there to help him. It wasn't enough. But see, this is the problem here, right? This is why we can't always use Zeke to to help Terrence because Zeke got to go block. Um, hold on, Zeke got to go block. Uh, forty five. Let's see, Zeke blocks forty five and thirty four would be Dax guy to make a decision on. Everybody else, slide, slide, slide. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then look, Zach Martin just looking for work, cleaning up. Look at Zach Martin, just such a legend. Get out of here. Uh, but yeah, man, that's Terrence Steele getting whooped, man. That is all of his sacks on the year. That's nine of them. Um, let's take a look at Brandon Knight's four sacks at the six. No, 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 no. The 412 mark. Hey, man, if y'all uh, if y'all appreciate this hard work, this research and development, man, leave a like on this thing. Leave a sub. And um, if you just wanted to see the sacks without the analysis, um, spend your money and go get game pads. <laughs> I'm not gonna do you no favors. 412. Let's see what happens here. We're looking at Brandon Knight now. Brandon Knight, the left tackle. I, you know, and Brandon Knight, I thought was the better of the two. I thought he was better than Terrence Steele, which he is. And uh, uh, but Brandon had an extra year on Terrence, and Brandon was able to to be cool the year before. But uh, I think Brandon got injured towards the end of the year. But injured or not, that's still Leonard Williams running down the middle of your player. You know what I'm saying? Now, can Leonard Williams do, like, can he do that to, like, Tyron Smith? Hell, nah, he ain't doing it to Tyron Smith, but that's the nature of the beast. It just is what it is. It's what we got to deal with. 524 versus the Eagles. Let's take a look at Brandon Knight at the left tackle here. Let's see what happens to him. Yeah, Courage is going to cross face, get inside on him. Let's see. Uh, but that's Brandon Knight's fault, right? Because Brandon Knight, instead of setting 
um, setting back, he, he 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 just gave up so much room to the inside. And the problem with him giving up so much room, room to the inside is we see Connor Williams is is pulling to block on the opposite side because we're faking counter, of course. Uh, but we're faking the counter. Uh, Connor's gonna block on the other side, but Connor leaving this space in here, which is his job, by the way, instead of Brandon Knight stepping outside, we kind of want you to waterfall inside to uh, cut down some of that space, man, to cut down uh, B gap a little bit. So, hey, man, that's a that's an ugly one for uh, Brandon Knight there. And uh, Andy Dalton just didn't even stand. Wait till we get to the everybody else sack quarterback episode and we get to see the sacks that were on Andy Dalton and on Ben DiNucci. Boy, those are some. I ain't gonna say that was funny because we lost, but <laughs> I got a good laugh. I got a good chuckle out of watching Andy Dalton get beat up on. Not at the season over with. You know, I got a good laugh out of it. Let's see, 939. Boy, the Washington football players got a lot of sacks on us, man. You know what? They they've been getting cocky on the social media, man. The Washington football wizards been been talking. Let me let me get big view on y'all, man. They've been they've been they've been talking a lot of mess like Ryan Fitzpatrick about to be the one to lead y'all to prosperity. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not with you, man. I'm not with you on that. You're going to have to come see us, man. Y'all beat up on this squad of gentlemen. Let me put them back up on the screen. Y'all beat up on this squad of gentlemen. Now you think that you legit. You just think that you top tier now that that that, that this was the crew that you beat up on. Well, wait till Tyron Smith get back. Wait till Lael get back. You know what I'm saying? Wait till we put, wait till we put Tyler in there full time. See what happened to you. Wait till Zach Martin get hands on you. Believe that. You can't spell Washington without wash. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to do it to you. This season should be fun. Let's take a look at this, though. Uh, da, 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 da. Brandon Knight, let's take a look at him. Left tackle, what'd he do? What'd he say? What'd he say? Take a look at him. And what old Chase Young did to him. That's Chase? Yeah, that's Chase Young. Ran straight down the middle of him. Some light. This will never happen to Tyron Smith. <laughs> this will never happen to Tyron Smith, man. Ah, uh, good rush, Chase. Good rush, good rush, good rush. Then, surprisingly, Brandon Knight didn't have another sack for a long time in the season. I mean, he got hurt a little bit. Uh, but his next sack, he didn't get hit. Uh, he didn't get a sack until... Okay, so, pardon me, this is the opposite. So, he got most of his sacks in early. Uh, Brandon Knight got his sacks in. Um, he got one in the Falcons game, this one here. Pardon me, the Seahawks game. So he got a sack here, but then he got his other sacks at the end of the season. So yeah, that explains the injury thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. They weren't all together. All his sacks weren't. <laughs> it feel like Terrence Steele got a, like he gave up a sack in every game is what it looked like. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case with Brandon Knight. Let's see what happened to him. What, what I miss? You just blink and you miss it, don't you? There you go again. You gave up too much work to the outside. You give up inside. They take that from you all day, sir. Sir, sir, sir. And who else we got to deal with? We got uh one more for the tackles. That was nine for Terrence Steele, uh, four for Brandon Knight, and we got one more for the tackle. Cam Swing Cam. Whichever Cam that is. Cam Fleming, Cam Irvin. Y'all go in the chat box and tell me which Cam uh we had last year, because it's a new swing cam every single year. Uh he gave up a sack versus Pittsburgh. Let's see what Cam did. And that just lets you know how bad tackle is in the league. Like Cam starts for the Panthers now. So if you're good enough to be a swing tackle somewhere, you're good enough to be a first string tackle somewhere else. Um, the rep started okay. He just had to maintain his block. He had a good good punch right here. Bow, good punch. Uh, but he just had to finish the block. Finish the block, man. Finish the block, brother Cam. Damn, damn, damn. So... Yeah, that's my 14, man. That's my 14 for tackles. On the next video, we're going to break down the 14 sacks uh, from the interior offensive line. Let me get back on big screen here. We're going to break down the 14 sacks from the interior offensive line. So, um, Connor Williams gave up plenty of them. Uh, Tyler Biotis gave up one. Good on Tyler. Uh, Zach Martin gave up two. We got uh, Joe Looney, Connor McGovern. So, uh, we got all those guys to look at on the next episode. And then in the third episode, we're going to take a look at everybody but us. So that'll be quarterbacks. That'll be the one Z gave up, the one Tony gave up. But we'll we'll cross that road whenever we get there. That being said, man, y'all follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. All that good stuff. Hit the sub button and the notification bell so you know when I go live with all this good work. And shouts out to Manscaped, the leaders. 
the one seed, the heavyweight champion of below the belt, male grooming, and all that good stuff. All right. Until uh, next time, y'all hold it down with the dope ski, wobski, the peace ski, we ski, man. See y'all in Oxnard. Peace. Yeah.